Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Game Hunter. Another episode of Rise of Kingdoms. Let's keep rocking. Yeah, it's been a while since the last video, but I've been putting all the pieces on place in my new studio. I'm very happy for that. And I'm still waiting for some news about the game. I mean, we got this new calendar, which is really, really useful. That way you can be prepared for the next or most important event. For example, for me, it's Karuak Ceremony. That's the most important one for me. Yeah. Right now, there is a couple one. I believe there is one going on now with this, this one. That's the Daily Gathering. And also doing it with the Victory Heart, if I'm not wrong. Something like that. Yeah, but uh, definitely keep an eye on the Midas Governor. Remember, this classic mistake that people do is to um, start gathering resources exactly the day that is the killing enemy day for the Midas Governor. <laughs> That's a classic mistake. So the calendar is going to help you big time to be prepared in case something like that happens. And also, like I say, keep an eye on the this beautiful Kaduak ceremony, which is still, I believe, is the best event in Rise of Kingdom. So, well, in this episode, let's take a look to the uh, cavalry units. Remember the previous episode we were talking about infantry? Well, let's talk about the cavalry. Cavalry, it's been since always the worst enemy for archers, right? But be careful, it has a counter. Even if we, this still probably the most uh, important unit in Rise of Kingdoms because of the versatility, the movement, the speed and all that, and the damage too. Uh, they have a counterpart, the infantry, right? So if you haven't watched my video about the infantry, go back to my um, playlist of Rise of Kingdoms and take a look to that because it's really important. Uh, cavalry is gonna be the a big pain for new players, especially if they're not ready or prepared for this kind of a uh, unit because uh, they can completely, completely be uh, an annoying, an annoying, an annoying troop, especially during the, the Midas Governor because it's, it's so fast that sometimes don't give enough time for people to be ready to run away or send reinforcements. Remember, infantry is always slower than cavalry units, so that could be the tricky part. So let's start with the horsemen. That's the first level uh, horsemen are the prototype form the true cavalry and they can play an important role in the battlefield when they are assembled. This coming in Stone Age, attack of 60, defense 120, you got two different attributes, the high mobility cavalry units, counter archer units, but it's countered by infantry units. That's exactly what we were talking about. And Force March, the exceptional endurance of the horses can help us to arrive at our destination quicker, increase march speed. March speed is critical with cavalry. Let's see if we can go back because once that we reach the Bronze Age, we got access to this T2 cavalry unit, the Light Cavalry. Well equipped cavalry, proficiency and a variety of different strategies generally serve as the main force of their army. Exactly. It's gonna become the most important troop for you in the game. But you gotta be careful. It's They're, they're expensive. <laughs> number one, they're expensive. And number two, they're kinda uh, really... It's a, it's a pain, for example, when you're getting in involved in a battle and you start losing a lot of cavalry units wow to to get those guys out of the hospital ooh la la ooh la la well the march speed is going too fast now now yeah, the load is seven power of two attack 128 125 blah 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 high mobility we also have the charge charge sending all to hell increase the attack and yes cavalry unit get stronger and stronger with each age now we go to the tier three Heavy cavalry equipped with a full body heavy armor, but one more time, look at the little detail. March speed is normal now. Hmm. Okay. Yes, that could be that could be trouble. <laughs> that could be trouble. Little by little, our advantage, even when you're still gonna notice uh, a difference between uh, heavy cavalry and uh, some infantry units. Yeah, heavy cavalry is still gonna be faster, but. So you know, gonna, it's not going to be that fast compared with some other uh, cavalry units, right? So now we got the high mobility, we got the full armor, keep every important part of the body protected by armor, will increase one's endurance in battle, increase defense. And finally, we got the breakthrough, destroy the enemies by finding weakness of the formation, increases attack. And then we move really fast to the Mamluk. Mamluk is the unique unit of the... Harv Empire, and we got the ferocious Mamluk, and made a name of themselves with their surpassing strength. 
They're most of that home and the desert galloping from. Yeah, these guys are just monsters. They're coming at the Dark Age. The attack. Look at this. It's just a monster. But the march speed is no more time. It's getting slower and slower and slower. That's a little detail. Vitality reduces strength required. The rent horse increases health. And also, we got the iron helmet. Limit vision, but provide better head protection. Increase defense. Uh, some kind of special attribute that I don't, I don't know if you. Um, gonna feel a big difference about those special abilities for those units. And finally, I got the Elite Mumblock. With slow sugar noble, with a true master of the desert, the feudal age. Look at the attack, they're very slow. Load is 12, so they can carry a lot of resources. But they can plant a lot of resources. We're going with the high mobility, we go with stomp. Trust me, no one can survive this increase of attack. Yes, they are just monsters and that's one of the reasons that people love to play with cavalry and if we're talking about cavalry we definitely need to talk about the different civilizations regarding uh, cavalry units in, in this case i will i will say the um i don't know i uh, just uh, the the for me I, i've been using the arabs you can arabia has the special unit the mom block and increase the cavalry attack by five percent that's one of the good thing that I love about Arabia. That's the reason I switch to the from I think from Germany. Germany is still the most powerful, better for cavalry. It increases cavalry attack by five percent, troop training speed by five percent, and increases point recovery by ten percent. Really good. I love it. Another one good is Spain. It increases cavalry defense by five percent. So we also got a, a cavalry bonus, which is really interesting. And Arabia, I think the Byzantium, no, I think the Ottoman, no, the Ottoman is for archers, yes. Cavalry, yes. Byzantium is also it's going to increase the health of the cavalry units. And the special unit is going to be called the Cataphora. Amazing. It's really just looking amazing. I'm thinking probably go back to to use my Germans, but for now, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with the with the Arabs and the Mumblocks. And if we take a look to the commanders, well, there's a couple of commanders that are really critical. We got Chao Chao. We talk about this guy for the longest time. He has some interesting bonuses. Um, for example, the Tiger Knight, they increase the cavalry unit's march speed and also attack. What? <laughs> That's a monster. We also have uh, Minamoto no Jatsitsume. We also have the special uh, skill, the second, the trial of Kiruma Dera. Increase the cavalry unit's march speed by 6%, attack by 14%. Another interesting cavalry. A free-to-play commander would be Lancelot, and he has another bonus in there. Increases cavalry unit march speed by 5%, increases attack of cavalry unit by 5%. That's a level 5, of course. That's uh, probably the, the easiest the easiest commander, or the easiest cavalry commander to level up. That would be Lancelot. We also have another one that I like is... Um, I haven't upgraded that guy that much. I believe you have something too, right? Let me see, buy bars? Yeah. Vibars also has a, another, it's another cavalry commander. Increases attack of cavalry unit by 8% from 8 to 20. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. I like that. All right, let's level up this guy. I haven't played that much this uh, lately. Um, currently level 24, my city hall. Trying to get to T5 units, but it's taking a long time. <laughs> and it's going to take longer. It's just so difficult to level up. Uh, because of the resources that it requires. And then the other one is Pelagius. Pelagius is another uh, commander from the Spain civilization. A really good one. Really, really good one. We're going to upgrade this to the maximum. It's another of the favorite commanders for free-to-play players. Let's see. We got it to level 5. Perfect. Because the second one is the founder of Asturias, increases the attack of cavalry unit by 4% and defense of cavalry units by 4%. So that will, that will be the most important commander for cavalry um, armies. Um, for the talent, for the skills, well, I'm sorry, for the talents, depending on the commander, I will always go for mobility. Uh, try to take advantage of one of the most important aspects of cavalry units, which is speed. Speed. You want to be able to attack and go back, attack and go back. So mobility is critical. You can also go for the cavalry uh, tree, but I will go. I will probably recommend to use uh, most of the points in the cavalry mobility. For some other commanders, for example, Minamoto, you know, to, uh, usually use the talent for the skill because the first attack is just deadly. <laughs> but that depending 
of what you want to do with your commander so those are the commanders and this is just amazing let's see if we can destroy those guys that ran away from here um just gonna go with mumblox and one more time we're going with chow chow and then we send the minamoto that's the combo i love to use these guys are just deadly and they move super fast as you can see that's another cool thing another valuable thing about the the cavalry commanders let's see if we can put lancelot as the first one we can probably put pelagius as the second one if i can oh we can put bay bay bars those bay bars bay bars bay bars bay bars is uh over there perfect and we're also gonna go with only oh, i don't have more cavalry units oh okay well but that was that was really fast <laughs> well fellas this is the game hunter with another episode of rise of kingdoms don't forget to like subscribe share my videos and i will see you in the next one take care everybody